So this is an overview of physical exam findings for the respiratory system. You could just skip this, just read the notes. Uh, I want to first of all highlight some high yield things though before you leave. Well, you probably already know this, but percussion. What changes percussion? You can get more uh, hyp more hyper resonant percussion if there's more air in the lungs. Okay, more air means it's more like a more like a drum. It's louder sound. What things that cause your percussion to become more dull is if you get more fluid or if the tissue becomes more dense. So you get a consolidation or just gets fluid in there that causes a dull percussion. Okay, and the feminist is similar but slightly different. Feminist tests how how the sound can uh, can travel through different things and air and fluid. That looks terrible. Air air and fluid. De get decreased fremitus. Okay, sound doesn't travel as well in air or fluid. What causes increased fremitus is denser or inflamed lung tissue. That stuff conducts sound better. So you're gonna have increased fremitus if you have denser or inflamed lung tissue. You're gonna have decreased fremitus fremitus if you have air or fluid in the t in the lungs. Okay, because that's gonna cause decreased lung density and hence poor poor sound conduction. Tracheal deviation, you don't have to worry for that about that except for two things. One thing I told you about already, what causes tracheal deviation that we learned about? Remember we said it was the tension pneumothorax can cause a tracheal deviation because that air keeps staying in, the, in that around that pleural space and getting pushed around surrounding structures. The other one is going to be atelectasis. Okay, we'll talk, we'll talk more about that later. Now, finally... I just want to say, so now you understand all these physical exams, you probably already did. If you understand this and you understand the diseases in the respiratory system, you don't have to, you don't have to watch this. You should already understand all this. Okay, you can just go test yourself. If you don't, if you want to follow along, just test yourself with me. All right, let's, let's check it out. So pleural effusion, what happens to your breath sounds? If you have, what's the problem in pleural effusion? This is a nice test. In pleural effusion, you have fluid between the two pleural, the two layers of the pleura. So now you have fluid in between the lungs and your stethoscope. So now you're going to have decreased breath sounds. There's just extra stuff blocking the way from the breath sounds in your stethoscope. What happens to your percussion? And when you said percussion's more dull, if there's more fluid, guess what? There's more fluid, so it's more dull. Duller, duller than normal. Fremitus, what happens? When we said, what happens if there's fluid around, around the area? Fluid decreases lung density, so you have decreased fremitus, decreased sound conductance. Okay, finally, is there a tracheal deviation? No, I said there's only two things that cause it. Second thing that causes tracheal deviation, I'm going to talk to you right now, atelectasis. Atelectasis, I haven't introduced this, it's a collapse of alveoli. I'm just going to draw out your, let's say this is your alveoli here. And it's due to obstruction of the bronchi. If you obstruct this bronchi, air does not go through. And so now there's no air going into this alveoli, and you need air to fill it up. Air doesn't go through it. Alveoli collapses. That's atelectasis. Okay, and all these alveoli will collapse. All these alveoli are supplied by the bronchus. So, what's gonna happen to your breath sounds in that area? Of course, we're talking about all in that specific area that's affected. Breath sounds. Your alveoli aren't filled with air. There's no air going through, so your breath sounds decrease. Decrease. What's your percussion gonna be? So you're gonna be more or less air. There's gonna be less air, so percussion's gonna be duller. Feminist, what happens? Is your are you going to have increased lung density or lower? Well, you're not going to have, you're basically going to have lower lung density. You're going to have decreased fremitus. Now what's going to happen to your trachea? Will it go toward the side of the lesion or away from the lesion? So now you have all this collapse. You have the lung of the collapse here. And guess what? There's less pressure here. There, there was no more pressure going up. But now this trachea is going to lean this way because it's just, everything's collapsing. It's collapsing that way. So it's going to be toward the side of the lesion. It's going to be important because what happens in tension pneumothorax, remember? That all that pressure in the tension pneumothorax pu pushes, it put. let's draw that again, I just want to, as well just explain it now. So you have a pneumothorax here, all this pressure, this pressure is going to push on the, uh, on the trachea, you get get trachea deviation away from the lesion. Okay, next is consolidation. So consolidation from lobar pneumonia or pulmonary edema, Things like that. What's gonna happen? What breath? What's your breath sounds gonna be like? Well, first of all, it's gonna be decreased. And the other thing is, you might hear some crackles, especially if you have pulmonary edema. Crackles with pulmonary edema. How about percussion? What do we say? 
Remember, if there's fluid in there, it's going to be more dense. It's going to sound dull. Okay, and the foramen is what happens. Well, now guess what? We have denser or more inflamed lung tissue. Or we have in a low burn pneumonia, we have this inflamed lung tissue, and so now we're going to get uh, increased foramenus in a low burn pneumonia and a consolidation. Okay, tracheal deviation no. Okay, simple pneumothorax. Are you going to have any breath sounds? Well, first of all, uh, your lung is going to be collapsed, so no, you're not going to have any breath sounds. Air is not going to go through. Second of all, what's going to happen to percussion? Well, guess what? There's The problem with simple pneumothorax is all this air in that pleural space, so now you're going to be hyper-resonant. Fremitus, what happens? Remember, air decreases lung density, so you have decreased fremitus. Is there going to be tracheal deviation in the simple pneumothorax? The answer is no. Remember, it's only in this tension pneumothorax where the air can't leave the pleural space, so it just builds up, builds up, increases pressure. Do you get it? Do you get that tracheal deviation? So now we get to the tension pneumothorax. Same thing as simple absent, hyperresonant, decreased remedis. But now we get that tracheal deviation and again. We said away from the lesion. Okay. COPD. What happens? Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Remember what were those two? What were those two, two diseases that we talked about? Emphysema and chronic bronchitis. Remember, there's two other obstructive lung diseases, but we're talking about chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Okay. Breath sounds. These guys aren't breathing very well. They have obstructive lung diseases, so they have decreased breath sounds. Percussion. What happens? Remember, are these guys going to have more or less air in their lungs? Remember, they have they have obstructive lung disease. They can't push air out of their lungs. So there are going to be more air in the lungs. They're going to be hyper-resonant. What happens to Fremenis? There's more air in the lungs. Fremenis goes down. No tracheal problems. Asthma, finally. That's another obstructive disease. What happens to your breath sounds? Well, remember, if this patient's not having an asthma attack, remember, that, remember that's the key thing. These guys can have normal exams. If they're not having an asthma attack, they may have a normal exam. However, if they're having an asthma attack, because what was the problem? You get some stimulus causing that bronchial hyper hyper-responsitivity, a reversible bronchoconstriction, okay? So you get bronchoconstriction, you get decreased air going in and out of the lungs, you get decreased breath sounds, and then you're going to get wheezing, okay? And then, so what's going to happen in percussion? Again, it's obstructive lung disease, you're going to air, air trapping because of that bronchoconstriction. Uh, it can be hyper-resonant, it can also be normal. Fremitus, air in the lungs, decreased fremitus, no tracheal deviation. So if you understand the problem, the underlying problem of all of these, and you understand what each of these measures, then you're going to understand this whole chart, no problem, easy peasy, you're going to understand your physical exam findings. You, please again, never memorize these charts, understand or be able to fill them out yourself. Alright, so that's it for our pulmonary physical exam findings.